All right, I want you to sit in the center of the stage and be. Do no more or less than what you feel. What are you doing? What do you mean? What, what do you mean, what am I doing? How do you feel? What do you mean, how do I feel? You're doing things on stage that have nothing to do with what is. Well, I'm nervous. I feel a little shaky, and you've got me upset. Okay. I don't like to be picked on. You're not being picked on. Well, the hell I'm not. I know what you're doing. Okay. Um, I think you're angry, and, and I think you're suppressing it and functioning in spite of it. You're hostile and defensive, and you're functioning above that. Yes, I am. Well, that's not being. That's not being at all. That's, I'm being in spite of myself. And what's that? That's not being. Well, I don't know what the hell you want me to do, Eric. You told me to sit here, and I'm trying to sit here. Okay. Do you want to cry now? No. It's not pure. Stop it! Stop what? I felt so great coming into this lousy class. You do this, uh, one, to avoid finding out what's going on, and two, to get yourself off the spot, and three, to get out of dealing with what you have to deal with. You still aren't being. You're closer because you've expurgated a little shit. So how do you feel? I feel great. Thanks, I really do. I mean, I'm so tired. I worked all day. I, I, I earned, earned a lot of money this week, and I'm tired. I didn't even want to come tonight, but I did. Because I love to come here and be spit upon. Is that what you think we're doing? No, I'm teasing. I know what you're doing, Eric. Somewhere, I don't know. And being, I mean, just being, I'm trying to figure it out. Maybe you shouldn't try to figure it out. Maybe you should just find out how you feel. So far, you've told us what you did this week and about coming here tonight. Well, I, I felt all right, Eric, before I got here. What makes you think that you don't feel all right now? Because... Because... Does all right mean this as opposed to that? What, what does all right mean? It means all right. Well, all right means everything. You're still not doing the exercise. You're avoiding and evading and evading and avoiding. You know how you get to be? You get to, how do I feel now, and am I functioning in terms of how I feel now? If not, why not, and what can I do to get to that? My hands are shaking. You took your glasses off. You keep maintaining that you can't see, and then you take your glasses off so that you won't see. Does that protect you? Will you wait until I finish wiping my eyes, okay? How do you feel? Nervous. Okay. Let's see it. I don't know what to do. Admit it. I just did. Where are you nervous? Well, my hands are shaking. Well, let us see that. Share that. How can you be if you want to hide? You're looking at the floor now. Now that you've got your glasses on and can see, you don't want to see. You know why? Because you want to avoid the responsibility of feeling the feedback. Deal with the feedback. You, you, mean, you mean the looks I'm getting from the people? And the involvement in the people, and the moment-to-moment -moment changes, and everything. Everything, everything, and, and, and say what I see coming out of them, right? Just be. Feel what you feel, 
communicate what you feel, experience what you feel, allow what you feel. I'm looking at Morty and, and I feel like crying. Well, why do you feel the responsibility to explain that to us? If you feel like crying, cry. Look at Monty and cry. Don't tell me about it. That isn't being. Why are you crying now? Because I'm yelling at you? No, no, it's not. It's not because you're yelling at me. What is it? <laughs> okay, okay. Let it run its course. Don't cover your mouth. That's not being. Let it run its course, and maybe it'll give way to something else. Don't cut it off. Let it happen. Let it run its way out. <laughs> you know, I don't believe you. You're doing everything except what I'm asking you to do. Almost all of your hostility and defensiveness and all of your crying is something which is self-stimulated, something that you encourage to happen. Oh, fuck it, Eric. I felt so great when I walked in that door tonight. All right, now wait a minute, wait a minute. Let, let's, let's iron out what you mean by, I felt so great. What do you mean now? You feel terrible? Well, I, I, really, I really feel shaky. As opposed to what? Listen to me. I am, Eric. Why do you feel a necessity to be defensive? I'm not attacking you. I'm trying to help you. I, I know. I know you are. Do you believe that? Yeah. I do. Okay, fine. I think that you function on a level which is above being. Beyond being. It is a level of social obligation. I think you are enormously affected by social obligation. Therefore, when social obligation is heightened by the presence of people and the obligation to see and be seen, you feel the necessity to do. And when that is frustrated, the only thing you then can do is to cry, to feel upset and, and, and frustrated and anxiety-ridden. And that expresses itself in a single way, the way you saw it tonight. But your expression isn't pure. It comes out of frustration. And instead of being frustrated and expressing that, you go to the crying and yelling because that expurgates the tension, the anxiety of being on the spot. It alleviates your confusion and it fulfills an element which is very important to you, meeting the social obligation. You have been doing what you think people expect of you for so long that you don't know what you expect of yourself or how to get it. When the social obligation is a big question mark, as it is to you in this exercise, you function on a level which you think is interesting, theatrically attractive. You function on a level of life which feels more secure to you than stopping that indulgence and finding out what the component parts of EJ are. Now, I, I interrupted you constantly for one very important reason. I wanted you to know from the outset what you do and don't do to find out what you feel, who you are, and what's going on here and now. Every single time I pinned you, you responded the same way, crying or defensive yelling, and instead of really allowing yourself to be hurt, openly confused, afraid, helpless, whatever, and allowing those impulses to express themselves moment to moment. Do you know what I mean by being? I, I do. I do now. Okay. Being is... I'm sitting here. I'm looking around the room. I feel boring and dull, and, and that's okay. I'm crossing my legs. I'm beginning to feel a little self-conscious. All these people are looking at me. You mean being is like a stream of consciousness? It can be. It can be anything that is. I'm just doing this out loud to demonstrate, but you don't have to do it out loud. You don't have to open your mouth unless you're impelled to. No, I, I, I feel a little tension creeping into my neck. Hello, tension. I know you're there. Everybody's looking at me expectantly, and I feel like I should do something. 
That lump in my stomach tells me to do something quick, but I don't have to do anything. I don't have to do anything. That's being. Whatever is, is. Alright? How do you feel? Confused. Totally confused. Good. I see that. What's good about being confused? The way I feel right now, I couldn't say three lines in any script. Well, that's okay for right now. But you're better off now instrumentally than when you got on the stage. What's, what's that supposed to mean? Alright, let me be a little presumptuous, EJ, and say that had I given you a piece of material when you first walked up on the stage, you would have read it well. But this is not a reading class. I'm convinced that I would have been able to predict every movement, every sound, every expression you made. However, if you were to continue the life that's going on now in you and include it in that piece of material, I'm sure I wouldn't be able to begin to predict or anticipate what you would do. Yeah, but Eric, if she went with the life that is right now in her, and the obligation of the material was to be confident, maybe secure, demure, the perfect hostess, wouldn't the existing life be wrong for the material? Sure, but that's the point at which you begin. That doesn't mean that uh, the, the life she's experiencing is, is right for the material, but, but from this state of confusion, she can work for a choice stimulating the reality that would make her feel the way she wants to feel for the material. This confusion, this anxiety she's feeling, is the bedrock here and now reality. It can be changed to another kind of here and now reality, whereas the state she assumes is an unaffectable state. Oh, so this is just getting ready. Preparation. Exactly. Acting is almost all getting ready. Because if you're ready and prepared to act, then you can.